What's up everybody? My name is Elliot, but you can call me the Motory Notary. The reality is we all have stereotypes in our heads. And when I think of pickup trucks, I think of this. I just got this new truck. It's got 660 pound feet of torque, a tank transmission, and you look cool as heck when you pull up to Hooters. And that's all good. But unfortunately, when I think of pickup trucks, I also think of this. The bed is so big, a family of four could swim back here and, oh, hang on. Trevor, I was just talking about my new truck. A couch? Heck, it can move the whole dang apartment. Oh, oh, you actually need me to help you move today. Well, okay, I'll, I'll be there. Dang it. And that's where the Hyundai Santa Cruz comes into play. It's not a traditional pickup truck. This is a pickup truck for car guys. So this is the 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. And remember, it's not a pickup truck and it's not exactly an SUV either. In fact, Hyundai refers to this as a sports activity vehicle or SAV. You see, this thing's based on the Tucson crossover SUV platform. So it's actually got a four cylinder motor and it's front wheel drive in base form. But the cool part is it starts at just $23,900. Now, when's the last time you've seen something that looks this cool for under 25,000? Now that's not the only cool thing about this though. As you can see, it's got quirky looks and it's actually really practical. So let's take a closer look at the Santa Cruz and see what we think of it. Now I've borrowed this Santa Cruz from Hatchet Hyundai here in Wichita, and these are in such short supply that they actually didn't even have one. So what am I doing with one? Well, this actually belongs to one of their salesmen. It's his personal car. He just got it and he was kind enough to let me do a review on it. So if you're in the Wichita area or heck, even if you're in a 300 mile radius, go see Cody at Hatchet Hyundai here in Wichita. Anyway, let's take a look at his truck slash SUV, activity vehicle, SAV. So when you first look around it, first of all, I think it looks fantastic. It gets a lot of attention on the road. There's nothing else really like it. It's kind of like a modern day Subaru Brat or Subaru Baja, but it's got really, really modern looks. The grill is amazing. First of all, it's heavily borrowed from its Tucson sibling, but it's got way cooler like cubes in here that kind of make it look a little bit more masculine. And the running lights make a very cool, almost Cobra-like shape when they're running. Now, the interesting part is neither of these are the headlights. The headlights are actually down here, which look like fog lights, but that's just a styling choice. A lot of cars are doing that these days. Now, I had to rearrange the Santa Cruz for this next portion because picture this, you're at the tailgate with your friends, you know, just dudes being guys, and you pull up in the sad. The first thing you're gonna do is this. Naturally, their jaws drop, but the show's not over yet. You roll this bad boy back, now they're impressed, but the tricks don't stop there. The Santa Cruz keeps on giving. Check this out. You've got movable tie-down cleats, which is cool enough, but it keeps getting cooler. You've got a storage area here and another storage area here, except this one's got another little surprise. It's got an AC outlet, and you know what that means. It means you're going to be the only guy at the tailgate who can toast bread. Everybody else, they're gonna be grilling with charcoal. Not you, look at that. Fresh bread coming up. And you might think, wow, that's pretty neat. It gets better, watch this. Underneath here, you might think, wow, there's nothing else. Oh, you'd be wrong, because there is an entire little recessed trunk area, but this isn't just a standard trunk this is also a cooler. And you know what that means? It means with the ultimate tailgating machine and you can do what nobody else can do at the tailgate. Now you see that? Everybody else at the tailgate with their Silverados is drinking beer and eating brats, but not you. You have an activity vehicle. You've got tilapia and toast and that is how you tailgate. And that's the Hyundai difference. But other than that, it's just a handsome looking vehicle. It's got some really nice styling cues and a few little external Easter eggs that I should point out before we check out the interior. One of the first things I noticed were these weird little like wheel arch tabs. I don't know what to call them. I don't think they serve any purpose, but they do show a little version of the Santa Cruz on there. It's pretty cool. It's like an early 2000s drawing of one. Very, very neat. The wheels are very cool as well. They're basically like hexagons that have been bisected by this black Hyundai spike. And from a distance, they just 
look awesome. I really like those wheels actually. Around the back, you get another little wheel arch tab with another little picture of the Santa Cruz. And this is where things start to get even more interesting. These taillights actually make arrows, which continues the little arrow theme that the rest of this car has going on. The word Santa Cruz is actually stamped into the tailgate. Like you can run your fingers in there. That is not a decal that is actually stamped into the bed. Now, the last thing I want to point out on the outside on the taillights, it actually says designed in California. That's basically just like when you get an Apple product. I guess somebody at Hyundai was like, hey, the kids love it when they open an iPhone and it says designed in California. If we put that on the Santa Cruz, the kids are going to go wild, except you have to really have a keen eye to notice it in the first place. So what's powering this modern day El Camino? Let's pop the hood. Oh, geez, you need a prop rod. Oh, hang on. All right, under the hood of the Santa Cruz is a naturally aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder making a 191 horsepower. It's worth mentioning that this particular Santa Cruz has the base model motor, but there is a turbocharged version of this that bumps power from 191 up to 277. Now that may or may not be worth it for you, but this thing is still plenty capable in base form as it can tow up to 3,500 pounds and still get 27 miles to the gallon on the highway. People buying these are basically comparing these to the Ford Maverick, and that's about it in this little tiny micro truck section. It's not exactly a competition. This is an activity vehicle, and the Ford Maverick is just a little pickup. Now, let's go look at the interior of the activity vehicle. As you climb into the Santa Cruz, you can tell it is a clean, modern, well thought out interior design, very reminiscent of the Tucson on which it's based. And like I said earlier, this isn't the top of the line, limited trim level of the Santa Cruz. This is the SEL. Now there's different seat finishes available and this particular one has the cloth seats, but these are not your standard cloth seats. These are what I would describe as hard as a rock to the touch cloth seats. Let me show you what I mean. Now it is a very handsome design and well, they look pretty comfortable, but when you kind of hit them, you can actually hear yourself knocking on the seat because this is the toughest cloth material I've ever felt in my life. So you'd think it'd be pretty uncomfortable, but in practice, it's not. Usually when something is rough to the touch, it's usually rough to the sit, but these particular seats are pretty comfortable. And because this material is so tough, I suspect they will show less wear over time, which is perfect for all the activities you'll be doing in your activity vehicle. The rest of the interior is awesome. This one has the optional all digital dash display, which I would absolutely say is a must. These gauges are so handsome and they change with the drive mode. So you put it in sport, they get a little bit more intense. You put it in smart, now well, you feel smarter. It's got a blue glow to it just like all smart things do. Having the gauges change with drive mode is pretty cool, but that's not the coolest feature of this particular digital display. Check out this bizarre option. Instead of link to drive mode, you go over down here to cube, and now you can see it will display your information in cube. Right now, the engine is turning 0.7 cubic RPMs. Now, I don't know off the top of my head what 0.7 cubed is, but if somebody in the comments could let me know, that's how many RPMs this thing is turning at idle. Why would you want this dash to be displayed in anything else other than cubed mode? You know, just hanging out with your friends, just dudes being guys, looking at cubes, thinking about math while you're doing activities. It's just what guys do. You've got a nice size infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Down here, you actually have a wireless charger, two USB ports, and this one, even though it has cloth seats, they're still heated. And the other styling cue that I could point out in here that a lot of Hyundais are switching to is this uninterrupted style line that even includes the air vent. It's very nice and it really ties the cabin together. The back of the Santa Cruz is, well, exactly what you'd expect. There's not a whole lot of room. And as you can see, this is somebody's personal vehicle. So it's actually being used, presumably for activities. Baseball glove, that's an activity. You do have storage. Look, there's stuff, there's stuff in bins. Oh my gosh, folks, you know how much I love when I find ice scrapers in cars. Never did I think I would find one while doing a brand new car review. Okay, driving the 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz sports activity vehicle, Korean El Camino truck car thing. First thing I notice is the visibility is astonishingly good. Most new cars, like brand new cars, are just terrible for visibility because all the safety things made the pillars too big and that's why they started implementing all these other cameras and all the stuff. It's because really you just can't see that well. But in this particular vehicle, 
I think the visibility is outstanding. Now, as far as everything else goes in the car, just driving it, it's very good. It's a modern car. Modern cars just drive really well. And being that this is based on a Tucson, surprise, surprise, it doesn't drive like a truck. Because remember, it's not, it's an activity vehicle. All right, now let's see what 191 horsepower gets you on a good highway pull here. I've put it into sport to improve it the best I can and I mean, it's not gonna knock your socks off, but it's not dangerous. I think that that is perfectly adequate for what this thing is and what most people aim to do with it. Of course, there's a safety feature chiming in there telling me to stay in my lane, which is maybe more of personal advice than actual road holding advice. But now that we're on the highway, which is something that you'll do a lot if you have a sport activity vehicle, it's great. First of all, you got your lane keep assist, which is really good. Hyundai's actually got one of the better ones in the business. Now, as far as noise goes, this thing is ridiculously quiet. Hyundai's over the years used to be kind of loud and noisy, but in 2022, that is not the case. I don't hear a hint of wind noise, and this thing isn't necessarily aerodynamic. The only thing that I do hear are the ice and fish that I have sloshing around in my activity vehicle cooler back there, but that's my doing. That's not Hyundai's doing. That was my activity that I chose in my sports activity vehicle. Anyway, I'm sure the turbocharged version of this is fantastic, but I mean, in this form, I really can't imagine it getting much better. This is all you could possibly want from a city truck car. It's practical as heck. This is a car you could drive and park in downtown Washington, DC, something you definitely couldn't do in like a full-size Silverado or something. This is the truck you want if you live in the city. Oh look, there's two full-size trucks right there. Bet you they don't have fish on ice in the back of their trucks. This guy does. And I'm also gonna say this, and I know this is a bold statement, but the more I stare at this digital cluster, it is better than a Range Rover's. You heard it here first, folks. The 2022 Santa Cruz has a better digital gauge cluster than any Range Rover. That's a hot take, but I stand by it. Huge shout out to Hatchet Hyundai here in Wichita for letting me borrow this Santa Cruz, specifically Cody. I hope he appreciates the ice and tilapia I leave in there for him. That's my thank you to him. So that's the 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. It's a truck for car people, a modern day El Camino, or as Hyundai themselves call it, a Sav. You know, like Neosporin. It drives like a car, but it looks like a truck. So you get all the benefits of something easy to drive like a car, but none of your friends are gonna ask you to help you move anything, which is great for you. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. A huge thank you to Hatchet Hyundai for letting me borrow this Santa Cruz. Remember to follow me on Instagram. I try to post a little behind the scenes stuff and stuff I can't normally post on YouTube there. Follow me on Facebook, join my Facebook group. It's a great place to share memes and I'm almost always in there interacting in the comments. And other than that, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe on this video. It greatly helps my performance on YouTube and I will see you guys on the next video. What you do, somebody lets you borrow your car, the least you can do is give them 40 pounds of ice and a fish. It's courtesy, at least here in Kansas. It drives like a truck, or... <laughs>